Hello there, everyone. It is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades with the foul mouth, Comet Urban. And I just want to say welcome to everyone, uh, men, women, and children. And if any children are watching my videos, please do not repeat some of the language you hear in my videos. Because I know I do curse. And that's the reason why I'm the jack of all trades with the foul mouth. But you don't want your parents hearing your curse, so <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good at all. You know, you don't want that shit raining down your head. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for everyone viewing my videos, for everyone subscribing, new subscribers, old subscribers, new friends, old friends, and so on and so forth. Uh, today, I am going to be reviewing a book with you. Yes, I am finally going to be doing a book review with you guys. And yes, I have some Titanic-related stuff behind me. I've got my, I've got the box for the premium Titanic model. And I've got my replica of a first class dining room plate also out. I actually just found that fucker when I was digging through some shit. I need a plate holder to put it up somewhere by my model. But <coughs> the book we are reviewing is Titanic Survivor. This is, it says the newly discovered memoirs of Violet Jessup, who survived both the Titanic and Britannic disasters, written by Violet Jessup, but is introduced edited and annotated by John Maxwell Graham. Now this book was harder than fuck to find for one thing. My mom found it when she walked into the bookstore and she she knew I wanted it for some time because the last couple of times I've been different bookshops and stuff and people said, oh yeah we had a book about Titanic called Titanic Survivor but it got sold. You know, I was like, what? And this book came out in 1997 I believe. During the the hype of Titanic mania, yeah, 1997. So this book came out the year James Cameron's movie Titanic came out during Titanic mania of the late 90s. But basically, um, right here it says in 1934, Violet Jessup wrote her memoirs. You know, after her childhood in Argentina and formative years in England, she became a stewardess aboard a variety of passenger ships. She was then, uh, she was there when the Titanic sideswiped the iceberg and sank. Four years later, she was a wartime nurse aboard the hospital ship Britannic. Service with the White Star Line put her literally in harm's way. At the center of two epic maritime disasters, her life was saved on the Titanic because an officer asked her to get into a lifeboat so non-English speaking immigrants would follow her example. But apart from these historically significant occasions, there's much more. Few of any ocean life stewardesses ever wrote their memoirs, hence Violet Jessup's life story is doubly valuable, one of a kind as well as articulative, authoritative, and informative. From her unique vantage point, whenever in pantry or the glory hole or deck or in the lifeboat, we're suddenly privy to below stairs life aboard the great ocean liners. It is a story brilliant, uh, brimming with gritty authenticity. At the age of 21, Violet Jessup joined the Orinoco in 1908. Save for the wartime spells ashore, she served as a cabin stewardess until her retirement 42 years later. She lived a life of uncommon travel and adventure. Her literary canvas is as broad as the seven seas, and her shipboard palette vivid. In addition to her eyewitness accounts of the sinking of Titanic and Britannic, uh, Violet Jessup has a knack for spinning fascinating tales. Hilarious fellow stewardesses, macabre cabin episodes, wartime aluminous, impossible passengers, philandering, uh, philandering shipmates, exotic ports, unrequited love, and tragic deaths. And, you know, when I first, you know, was reading it, I was like, oh, okay. But as I was reading it and stuff, I was just really just kind of just, I was really taken back. I was like, wow. I was really impressed. I mean, not just the fact of her story, you know, of you know surviving the Titanic and you know surviving the Britannic, but just you know just all the other shit she's been through on these other ships. It's it's definitely a <coughs> it's definitely a, definitely a refreshing you know refreshing look at the you know the Titanic, not just the Titanic, but just a refreshing look at the life on board, you know, the great ships at the turn of the century. And this 
focus so like on the back here it says that um, right here her story is both charming and simple and yet terrifying and, and it was terrifying in one part I remember reading here that caught my attention when it was about the Titanic if I can find it um, right here here it is right here I started unconsciously to count the decks by the rows of lights one two three four five six then again one two three four five I stopped surely I must have miscounted I went over them again more carefully hushing the whimpering baby meanwhile no I had made no mistake there were only five decks now then I started all over again only four now she was getting lower in the water I could not any longer deny it <coughs> and there's another part here uh, and it's like right here let me find it here right here a tiny breeze the first we had felt on this calm night blew an icy blast across my face it felt like a knife had in its penetrate with its penetrating coldness I sat paralyzed with cold and misery as I watched Titanic gave a lurch for forward one of the huge funnels toppled off like a cardboard model falling into the sea with a fearful roar a few cries came to us across the water in silence as the ship seemed to right herself like a hurt animal with a broken back she settled for a few minutes but one more deck of lighted ports disappeared then she went down by the head with a thundering roar of underwater explosions our proud ship our beautiful titanic gone to her doom and there's one little bit here left too that's really you know it, it, this is the one part that really sealed it up one awful moment of empty misty blackness enveloped us in its loneliness then an unforgettable agonizing cry went up from 1500 despairing throats a long wail and in silence and our tiny craft tossing about at the mercy of the ice field I mean it just you you have to think though you know from a, from a survivor standpoint and there's a lot of shit that I read about you know the survivors and stuff and like seeing their testimony and stuff is just um they said the worst thing was the the cries and then the worser thing after that was the silence and another thing that really got me too was reading her um, her her the way that she escaped the Britannic I mean it, it literally was a bloodbath and she was saying right here about she's seen something about you know piece of human body parts and stuff right here this is from you know when her account of the Britannic it says the first thing my smarting eyes behind beheld was a head near me a head split open like a sheep's head served by the butcher the poor brains trickling out on to the khaki shoulders all around were heartbreaking scenes of agony poor limbs wrenched out as if some giant had torn them in a rage the dead floated by so peacefully now men coming up only to go down again for the last time a look of frightful horror in their faces yeah uh, yeah it's definitely um, it definitely uh, it, it definitely I don't know how to explain it. it just I mean she's so vivid in her details and just not just it's just like how could somebody deal with not one not one tragedy but two you know she definitely was a very strong special woman to deal with that kind of shit and her memoirs are very special because I don't think there's anybody that's survived that's been on the two ships let alone in all three she was on the Olympic when she had her accident with the HMS Hawk and she was also on the Olympic beginning of World War One when uh, the Olympic tried to take in tow the battleship HMS Audacious and of course she rolled over and sank <coughs> but it, it, the book is definitely a must read if you, if you want to have a fresh a refreshing perspective on the Titanic and you want to learn more about the life of a, a ship's stewardess 
I, I, I definitely have to recommend Titanic Survivor by Violet Jessup and John Max Tone Graham. This is definitely the book you you have to read. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed my, my review. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button and, you know, beat the shit out of that notification bell and become part of my crew. And you'll never miss a video. And until next time, it is Commodore Urban. Saying that smooth seas and clear skies and happy sailing with you and God bless. Until next time, bye-bye.